hi guys welcome back in this quick php video tutorial we are going to learn how we can submit a form and handle the submit request in the controller so this is a very important part because the most of the data interactions are uh, based on the form submissions so let's get started so first of all we have to create the route controller and template for this then we will make a simple very simple html form and then we will handle the request in the controller so let's get started with the uh, making a controller so first of all just start writing the function and this function we can call it the action also so i'm just going to write the submit all right so this is my function now i have to create the controller so for controller just copy and paste this whenever i am going to put the request submit and it will throw me on the submit action of the page controller guys if you uh, want to know if you are not uh, too much familiar with the uh, controller router and template you can just watch out the previous video and here we explain the just quickly all these things so for better understanding you can watch this otherwise you can continue from here all right so i just create the route here i just create the controller here now i need to create a template so this is my template page and according to my controller this is my pages and template folder name and now i'm going to create the submit.ctp uh, cake template pages that means all right so write here html and type you can write uh, in the title cake php tutorials all right in the body we need a simple form okay so I, i'll change the action within a moment just create the one field or two just tick two field here which is the name is name and take the input type is it password one more thing and put the name password here and need a button should be the submit type and here we can write the submit text all right so now let's look on the submit controller is it working fine or something going wrong that's working fine so why the style is added here because this is the predefined style from the cake so don't worry about that all right so now just change the action here so i'm going to put a simple oops base url should be taller this request mm -hmm. request Oops. that's fine now and right here and it will take to the same uh this will take to take us to the same route so let's check the url of the form here so is it working fine yes that's fine so you can see that after submit it's coming to the same screen all right so now go uh, come to the page screen and now just first of all i'm going to show you that how we can get the whole data of the form uh, it include the HTTP request, form data, parameters, attributes, params, everything that we need. So just I'm going to write here dollar this dollar request. All right, that's fine. And now let's see what's going on. So you can see that we have a lots of data here. So we have three warnings also because header is already used because it's going to submit on the same page so don't worry about that so you can see that we have the lots of data and if you want to see them in a particular manner then just use the pre tag before it and yes see there's lots of data so 
I will uh, I will just choose the five or six commands which is very important to submit the form and they are really important so first of all I will check that what is the is so is it check that uh, is it the really a post request if we are going to accept the data from the post so it a kind of small uh, validation you can see that so let's check if I'm going to comment the two lines here for now so if dollar this then request then is right here post is it the post then it will whatever you want to take like post and else and right here something else so let's check here so you can see that we got it we are in the post request so data is the post here so just I'm going to change the request here like the get now let's see what's going on just have to post the new data so here you can see that we got here in the something else go to the post we are oops because this is uh, another request so just put here submit and I think I did not save the page yet all right so now so you can see that we got the post data here come back all right so after that just check the get data or data like if you just submit the two fields and you can see that uh, if I just pass the this one then you will see the lots of data is here so how how can get the actually data so for that you can use the two things first is kind of data or you can use the get data so both are working fine or you can use as a parameter for the specifically like you just want to print the name here so just use the name oops I don't have the name I think uh, yes I I was nothing to put the value here oops so just put here anil and do so you can see that we got the name here all right let's come back here after that uh, the third important thing is how we get the params so just use the this command and you will get the pair params here. just put this one and uh, let's say you suppose you pass the some data here like uh, I just pass the 10 and 30 then oops just I have to use the star here with for in the routing and let's see now we got the two arrays here first is 10 and second is 30 and let we have more arrays so we can get like this with the uh, get params so now uh, one more important thing is get attribute get attribute is kind of same thing but it will give you some more data so just pass here params and let's refresh this and you can see that the coming routers which is uh, router names and action name and controller name and request is is post or not is this x or not so all these things so next thing is the get query get query will tell you that if you are passing the query string through the through the uh, url then it will help you a lot so like i just pass here Hmm. Name equal to John. Then you will see that the 
we can get it here all right so this so first, uh, the last thing is oh my god the last thing is input so this dot request dot input will accept the all these thing that you can accept with the request just use the data from here uh, and that you will all these things that you get with the uh, dollar data but it will mostly use with the api things because that that time we need the data in the json format so we can apply the port post patch in these things so that's the input request is will useful that time otherwise this is not too much useful so these are the some important match words here so that are very important so uh, if you have any kind of issue then you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to like our channel all right thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you want to get it on the facebook then you can find the link in the description box so thanks guys thanks for watching this video